All right, guys, good morning, Wasteland. Mr. G here bringing myself the coffee. You guys cross out. So uh, I did spend this week, you know, trying to do a video on the Varen crossbow. And I guess I just realized eventually after trying to get wins in it and do well in it, that while it's fun to use, um, it's not that great. Eh. And the perk really feels more like a negative because when you don't have the perk active, it's just kind of garbage. And so I was sitting there struggling to make a video on the Varen. And then this news dropped in my lap. And I'm just like, you know what? Don't care if this is, this is bigger news because cross out finally, finally, finally is working on getting us a co-driver system rework because the current system of co-drivers is hot garbage. I mean, we've got a, we've got a handful of co-drivers with ridiculous skills um, that are completely useless until you unlock the very final skill, which requires a stupid amount of grind and playtime and resources to do. And you really can't choose... They're just not great at specifying, like, choosing a pathway, really. So finally, they're going to currently completely ditch the current system of co-drivers. Now, I hope Crossout finds a way to make sure that we we all get credit for all of the grinding that you guys did put into your current drivers. And I'm, I'm sure there'll be some way to port that experience over. Right, Tarjum? Don't just ditch everybody's experience grind. I'm sure that they've thought of something, right? They can, Tarjum couldn't make a mistake, guys. They'll, they'll be fine, I'm sure. So what are they going to do? Um, they're going to change it. They're going to make each co-driver useful for certain kinds of armored vehicles. Uh, and they're going to give them specific roles uh, on the battlefield. You know, a long-range enthusiast will be interested in choosing Sniper. All right, so they're, they're naming these guys names that, you know, tell you what their skill set's going to be. Co-driver named Rogue, we can assume maybe Rogue gives you a bonus to, you know, cloaking or something. Close range will become more dangerous while they're, I don't know. So, you know, we got different things, different abilities. Okay, I'm rambling. Um, to make a long story short, you're going to get a set of passive abilities and then one sort of like activated perk that you can use with your co-driver. So, for example, tank co-driver will have passive skills aimed to improve the survivability of your vehicle on the battlefield. Now, in addition, like I was telling you, to passive skills, they're going to have a talent now, in order to activate it, you'll have to perform uh, a certain action. So, for example, one co-driver will be able to increase the damage you deal and highlight weak spots of the enemy's car. So, I'm assuming kind of like the scope. Uh, to activate this, you have to hold crosshairs on the enemy for a certain time. Another co-driver will allow you to restore durability by collecting the remains of destroyed enemies. Okay, that sounds kind of cool that you can actually use all the garbage on the wasteland to do that. So, hey, sounds like some actual thought maybe is going into this. And it looks like you will have to unlock different code drivers uh, as you go down the pipe. So what do we know about this system? Um, there will be no need to level up a code driver to get the next skill. Each code driver with all his skills will be purchased for glory points. Yeah, that name definitely should be changed, but whatever. Okay. Glory points will be earned in every battle. Just by playing the game, you'll be to gradually able to accumulate the required number of points and unlock the next co-driver of your choice. After you have unlocked a co-driver, all his skills immediately become available to you. Um, <clears throat> that makes me feel like maybe you don't get all your experience from all the grinding you've currently put into your co-drivers. What would be best is if they just gave you all the resources that you had to use to buy the skills and they just gave you those back as a refund. Charge them, are you listening? Hook these boys up with a refund. Um, oh, here it is. Mr. G did not read to the end of the article. Classic Mr. G. What does it say? We will take all the unlocked levels of all of your co-drivers into account and issue a corresponding amount of glory points. You can use these to unlock new co-drivers. Okay, so if you've unlocked all the drivers and maxed them out, you should be able to get all of the new ones. That's a piece of good news. When is this going to come? We will definitely launch a test server where everyone can try it out. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so they're not giving us a definitive date. They want to do some testing. I mean, 
I mean, we got an image here of what it would look like on what appears to be like Xbox or PlayStation. So, you know, we got maybe, maybe it's soonish. I'll see what I can do. I'll ask around um, to our new Targem guy, uh, my old guy. He quit. He left. So I've got a new person there uh, because my contact person. I'll see what I can find out, guys, and try and get back to you. Um, They did send me some promo codes uh, for some free premium time for you guys. So... I will, you know what, I'll just, they've been hidden throughout this video in different places. Pay attention, see if you can find them. Go back and rewatch. I don't know. I'm putting some promo codes in here for a free day of premium time. You're welcome. Mr. G, out.